What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. Yesterday, we've talked about the invention of Adam Back, proof of work. The aspect that when you have a given input and SHA-256 hash that, that the output value has to be below a certain difficulty target. And Satoshi Nakamoto applied this concept in Bitcoin in a very intriguing way, and he innovated on top with the difficulty adjustment mechanism. So a consensus way of making sure that uh, the proof of work is sufficient. And even before the Genesis block in the Nakamoto consensus rules, the maximum difficulty target starts with eight zeros. Uh, so all blocks have to be below this 8-0 difficulty target in order to be considered a valid block. And if you look back in the blockchain for block zero, the Genesis block, it beats this difficulty target because it has 10, out, 10 zeros. Uh, so it is a lower value hash than the difficulty target enforces as the maximum. However, there is also the concept of block time. Uh, so Satoshi wanted to have that uh, a, a new block is found on average every 10 minutes. And it was quite tricky to enforce this in a provable and consensus fashion. Uh, and how he did this was uh, a special, or was basically that he said that as more miners enter the system, that would be Hal Finney and all the other peers joining Satoshi in the early days. More people are going to do the computation. More computers are going to do the hashing on the candidate blocks. And because it's a game of random chance, sooner rather than later, uh, someone is going to find a valid block with a hash below of the difficulty target. And now Satoshi said that after Every 2,016 blocks, uh, which with a block time of 10 minutes, should be roughly two weeks. Uh, we go and look back and see if the blocks were produced uh, in a shorter amount than two weeks or in a longer amount of two weeks. And if more miners have entered the system, uh, that is, if... Uh, in the early days, right? So, uh, Hal Finney and all the others joined him. Uh, so in theory, uh, that means that more blocks are being produced than 2016 uh, in, those, in this two-week time period. And when that is given, uh, the difficulty target is reduced. Uh, so so it, it means that it is now more unlikely to find a valid block. Uh, just given a random hash. And therefore, uh, you have to expand even more computational power in order to find a valid block. And uh, let's assume that even more and more and more miners join the network, uh, they will find blocks sooner rather than later, thus more blocks are going to be produced than 2016 for every two-week window. And then again, the difficulty target will be lowered and lowered and lowered. And the output value of the block hash now needs to be uh, with more zeros in front. Contrarily, though, uh, if miners leave the system and shut down their hashing machines, then, well, they will find the block rather later than sooner. And in, if in a two-week time period, uh, the number of blocks is below 2016. So if, let's say, only 1,500 blocks are being produced, then the difficulty target is increased again. Uh, so you require less zeros in front of the hash in order to count as a valid block. And although this might not seem too interesting, especially from an economical point of view, this is actually a genius idea. Because let's uh, see, for example, how this works out with gold or silver. 
and compare this to Bitcoin. But let's not do this today, but actually tomorrow. On the next show of Bitcoin to the Max, here on the World Crypto Network, a show is supported by you, the peers on teleco.in slash Hillebrand Max. Thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.